If you're looking for some inexpensive accessories for your pressure washer to upgrade the experience, getting a longer hose, more flexible hose, then you came to the right place because I've done lots of reviews on products in the past, including some of my favorite, like the Uber Flex hose, which is fantastic, 50 feet long, completely flexible, doesn't kink. I love this thing. This thing is fantastic. And that's kind of what sparked this, uh, this review of the Yamatic brand. Now, as far as their hoses go, they actually have on their Amazon listing, it says replaces the Uberflex and Flexzilla hose, which the Uberflex hose is the same type of construction as the Flexzilla. Uberflex actually owns the patent that Flexzilla uses. So since they were saying that, it really made me think like, hey, is this a viable option? They're cheaper than the Uberflex. So I wanted to see if that would work. All right, guys, so first up, the green hose from Yamatic. This is the one that really sparked my interest. The color looked good, kind of reminded me of the, of the uh, Flexzilla hose. And in their little promo video on Amazon, they showed the kink resistance and, and it looked really, really good. It looked a lot like the Uberflex hose. Now, both the green one and the gray one seem to be the exact same construction and they retail for $33.99, at least at the current time of, of when I'm filming this video. Additionally, they have this one also on that same listing, and this one is definitely a little bit slightly different construction, and this one retails for $41, I think. Uh, yeah, $41.39, again, at the time of this recording. So I have my trusty Uberflex hose right here, guys. We're gonna be comparing that one to these two first, or at least to one of them. They're both the exact same thing, like I said. Uh, they are rated for 3,200 PSI. They have an M22 by 14 connection points, so that's gonna be a standard fit for the majority of your electric pressure washers. Um, there's a couple that will use an M22 by 15 connection point, but if you have one of those, there's a simple adapter that you can get. It's an M22 by 15 to an M22 by 14. You just screw it on, screw the hose onto that, and you're good to go. So you can use these aftermarket hoses without any worry. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. It's got a nice little packaging, just a little red ribbon. It's kind of like you're opening up a present at Christmas. Uh, but let's go ahead and cut this off, and then we'll unwind the hose and check out the construction. See just exactly how it feels in comparison to that Uberflex hose because like I said, on their listing guys, they're really comparing this thing to the Uberflex. Okay, so right off the bat, man, you know, it's interesting on their listing, when they lift it up, it shows that it doesn't do this, but in fact, it does. Uh, so not the best memory. Um, you unwind it a little bit and it actually gets quite good. Uh, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. It's definitely a lot better than your standard pressure washer hose that comes with uh, an electric pressure, a pressure washer, those are typically really stiff, kink really, really easily. This one, on the other hand, let's go ahead and see. And it's okay. It, I mean, it feels like it wants to kink a little bit, but it's not. Um, so not bad. There's a little more, it's a little bit tougher to do compared to the Uberflex is just like an absolute noodle. Um, the texture of the hose is very, very slick compared to the uh, Uberflex has some texture to it. Let me go ahead and come around closer for you guys so you can try and see this. Uh, let's see if I can get this to zoom in and focus for you. I don't know if that is, but there's texture on the Uberflex, whereas the, the Yamatic is completely smooth. Now let's go ahead and do the knot test. And basically what this shows is the slip resistance. So just to see, pulls all the way down nice and tight, all the way down into a little, uh, little pretzel there. Comes back apart, no problem, no kinking. Uh, let's go ahead and do that with the Yamatic. Looped around, bring it down. Also very, very slick, also very, very tight little um, uh, pretzel. It is flattening out a little bit right there. So it does seem to want to kink there, but not bad. Um, let's go ahead and see now, we're gonna go ahead and pinch it. And it definitely does kink. Let's see if it has memory in the line. And let's see here. Yeah, cause now when I try and do this, it kinks there really, really hard. So not kink free, definitely more kink resistant than some of the other hoses for sure. Um, but definitely not kink, kink free uh, versus the Uberflex. Again, let's try and kink it over. We'll get it to fold over on itself. But again, no memory in the line. And then look, still zero, zero kink in it at all. So for me, easy choice here. The Uberflex is definitely the winner compared to that green one. Now this grayish, blackish one, is the exact same construction as the green one, so we don't really have to do a full review on this. Let's just see if it kinks. Again, it folds over on itself pretty well. It doesn't seem to actually kink kink, 
But then when we start doing this, there's the kink. So it does weaken whatever the material is and then allows it to kink after that. So uh, not completely kink free, better than some of the others for sure, um, but definitely not on the same class as the Uberflex. Now next up, let's check out their a little bit slightly more expensive uh, option. Now this one's just Velcroed together with these red straps. So let's just go ahead and pull those off, which is nice because you can use these to store it if you want to. Um, they're not super long, so it'd be a little bit of a pain to get them back together, but still nice that they give you something to, that you could store it with. All right, so let's see here. It's interesting, there's kind of this Kevlar looking sleeve over one end of it, and I don't know why, to be perfectly honest. Um, I guess heat resistance or something, let's see here. Let's see here, this says keep away from muffler and hot surface, pump outlet side connection. So pump outlet, so I guess is, this is where you would connect it to the pressure washer, and then this side would be for your wand. Um, and it looks like you can actually remove this sleeve as well, it's just zip tied down. But let's go ahead and look at the construction of it. It feels nice and lightweight, um, which is nice. Let's see here, as far as the flexibility goes, a little bit stiffer than the Flex or the Uber Flex, but still does well. Uh, try and kink it. And it's really, really resisting it, guys. I mean, it did a good job there. Let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's, it, it, it is kinking. Uh, but this one is definitely more stout and more kink resistant than the gray and, and uh, green one were. Um, it just seems like there is quite a bit of memory. It looks like a bit of a mess here. Let me try and unwind some of it and get a better representation of actually, you know, like if you're actually out using this, is it gonna be a pain? And yes, it does look like it will. I mean, this is just bending like crazy here. So there's a lot of memory to it versus that Uberflex, like I said. Once you unravel this thing, it stays nice and, nice and loose and flexible and good to go. Whereas this one doesn't seem to be wanting to do that. Um, over time it may, the, the, the coating on this one is very, very slick as well. Almost feels like it has a little bit of an oil on it. Um, but this is one of those things, guys. I think this hose is decent enough where if you were to put it on a pressure washer hose reel, I don't think you're gonna have any issues with it. Um, I think it would be pleasurable to work with. I don't think it'd be that much of a, of a pain in the butt. Um, when you're comparing this one to the Uberflex, again, I love that Uberflex hose. This one's about $10 cheaper. So if that's, you know, if you want to save those 10 bucks uh, and you're going to put it on a pressure washer hose reel anyways, I made a video on some cheap ones on how to build them. I'll link up here for you guys. Um, then I think that that is an option for you. Um, for me personally, I would still just go with the Uberflex. It's still, you know, 50 bucks. And I think it's, uh, a superior hose, I really, really do. But this one I'm actually quite surprised by. I thought it was gonna be more of a headache to work with. So really quick, you guys, I'm gonna put these back together now and then we'll take them out front, hook it up to a, just a basic Ryobi 1800 PSI electric pressure washer. Okay guys, so first things first, I just hooked up this green hose uh, from Umatic uh, along to the 4000 PSI pressure washer gun. Now, I will say guys, I just, Again, I just laid this thing out, pulled it all the way out. It's not under pressure or anything, but I'm very, very impressed with how well it's laying out. It's not kinking up at all or, or uh, trying to stay tied up at all. It's doing a really nice job and, and works really well. So I'm gonna show you that really quickly. So here it is, guys. You can see it's just laying nice, flat, straight, easy, easy to work with. Um, flops all the way down, really good. Way, way, way better than your standard uh, pressure washer hose that comes with the electric pressure washer. So I am impressed with it. Now next, I'm gonna go ahead and fire the pressure washer on, and we're gonna go ahead and see how it works once it's under load. Okay, so now that the pressure washer is on, it definitely tightened up a little bit, but not bad still. Let me go ahead and get a video of this for you guys. So it's definitely uh, under pressure now, like as you can see, and still flops relatively well. It's not quite as good but still not bad at all. And again, let's see what happens here. Let me pull this, step on this, pull it. And it kind of worked itself out, right? It didn't kink. So very, very nice. Um, the hose is better than I thought before testing it. It actually works a lot better than I thought. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this hose and test out the orange hose. Again, that gray one's the same exact construction as, as this, which again, I'm much more impressed by under load uh, than I was just out of the box. It's, it's a decent hose for sure. Lays nice and flat. It's not uh, trying to roll up on me. Um, again, it can kink, but ooh, yeah, see, that's weird. Let me, let me show you here. Let me see if I can get this to record. You hear that? Go to a new spot. Didn't do it there. Let's go to a different spot. Snap. 
I don't know if that's good or bad. Yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad. That, that, that worries me a little bit. Um, I'll test this hose over time, guys, and give me an update and let you know. That sounds like it's breaking down whatever core is in there. So longevity, I don't know. But for the price and the ease of use, I like it. Before we go on to that other one, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and see how easy or difficult it is. Um, with the Uberflex, it's quite easy. This one, you have to fling it over. Um, so far, it's feeling pretty good, guys. Not like a standard pressure washer hose at all. Uh, it's rolling up nicely. Um, I'm, I'm impressed. I would say this is the second best uh, aftermarket hose I've found compared to the Uberflex. The Uberflex is definitely still better. It, it, it is, it feels more robust. Um, it just feels like a really quality piece of equipment, whereas this one feels good, uh, just not quite the same as the Uberflex. But again, I'm very, very, very impressed. Now this happens even with the Uberflex, guys. If you don't have it on a hose, uh, you know, you have to break them in a little bit. So just while you're winding it up, expect that kind of stuff. Um, but again, I'm pleasantly surprised by this thing. All right, guys, here's the orange one. I'm just gonna lay it out and then we'll get to testing it. Again, this one has a little label saying this is the pump side, so going to your pressure washer. It doesn't matter, it shouldn't matter at all. Again, they have this little coating on this side, but um, as far as which side you put it on, shouldn't matter at all. They're both the same type of connection point. All right, so right off the bat, definitely not as uh, easy to work with as the green one was. Um, it's definitely staying, st I just unwound, unwound this whole thing and it's still staying a little bit tied up, so. All righty guys, so as you can see, I've got this thing completely laid out, laid out, right? Seems nice and flexible that way. I'm gonna start walking it back and see what it wants to do. I don't like that, how it wanted to kink up on me, or not kink up on me, sorry, but kind of tie up. And look at that. Let me zoom in for you. Definitely not the most user friendly here. Um, I literally just wound this thing out completely. As you saw, it was all um, you know, spun around the correct way and it's doing this to me, so. All right, so as you can see, you guys, it's definitely not the easiest to work with. Still not terrible, but not great. I'm gonna go ahead and look, turn it on now and put it under load. And with that, it just kind of jumbled up on itself a little bit more. Let me walk it all the way out again and try and just get this thing to level out. See what that kink does. Not unwinding itself at all. It's staying actually, it's starting to roll over on itself even more and then different spots along the line as well. All right guys, so I've got it. Okay, so I've got it all unwound again now. Uh, under pressure, feels good. Let's walk it back again and see what it does. So now that it's under pressure, it seems to be doing better. That's for sure. Uh, but again, just not great, as you can see. So now we're all tied up again there. Um, so it's decent. It's, I, I like the green one better. This one definitely feels like it would last longer to me, um, but the ease of use of the green one's much better, and the green and the gray one. Now let's go ahead and test the, again, I, you hear that? Let's see if it'll do it, hang on. It snaps. I don't know what that is. I've never heard that before. It's not doing it, there, there it is again. So I don't know if it's just the polyurethane like outer shell moving along the inside or what, but it is a little area of concern for me just cause I don't know the longevity of this thing. Um, but again, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys the alternatives to that Uberflex hose if you do want to try and save a little bit of money. Um, with the green and the gray one, they're considerably cheaper. I think 15 bucks. 20 bucks cheaper, something like that, right around there. So good amount of savings there. The Uberflex still is, is better. I, I much, much prefer that one over both of these or all three of these. Um, if you're comparing this one to the Uberflex, at 10 bucks more, just go with the Uberflex. I think that's the way to go. Uh, but for that green one, again, it doesn't feel as robust, doesn't feel like it would last quite as long. I don't know that for sure. But the user experience was pretty good with that one. That's it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to review those items because people ask me about them all the time. They have tons of reviews on Amazon and I had heard and seen, you know, on that hose, they're saying, oh, it compares to the Uberflex. It doesn't, it's not quite, it, it's not as good as the Uberflex. It's, it's, it's much better than your standard pressure washer hose. So if you're just trying to get something that's a little bit better and not trying to spend 50-ish dollars and trying to keep it around that 30, $35 range, 
go with that one. It's a decent hose for sure. Uh, if you can spring for the extra 15 bucks or whatever it is, the Uberflex is better still in my opinion. I love that thing. Um, that's where I would go. But again, that one surprised me a ton. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on that notification bell and we will see you on the next one.